these guys are and do you have any advice for these guys who are afraid of many things he's afraid of swimming in dark water he uh, says asking you these guys are afraid afraid of afraid of, of afraid of so many so different things of many different things do you have any uh, advice? advice or, or like, like he is afraid of losing money uh, he is afraid of losing money he's afraid of drowning he's afraid of drowning and oh. Uh, I'm so afraid things. of, 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 no, ha, ha, in. <laughs> <laughs> so they're asking you to share. If there's anything you can like to share with them about this so-called fear, phobia, how would you share with them? I never beat the brother fear, so I don't know him. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah, he has never met the brother. He never met fear, so he yeah, was not so okay. They are very, very uh, interested or laughing. <laughs> so they also throw fear out the window. Yes, they throw fear out of the window by ha ha. -ing. Ha ha. -ing. That's what ha ha -ing means. Is that she laughs yeah. through it. So her formula is to laugh at everything yeah. and all uh -huh. the stuff that goes on in her life. Uh -huh. Laugh more. Correct, huh? He yeah. says your formula is ha ha ha. Yes, yes, yes. And vanilla yeah, ice cream. I share it yeah. with all of you. Yeah. <laughs> and and, yeah. and he said also vanilla ice cream. No, they are cute for myself. <laughs> <laughs> then she doesn't share. <laughs> so if you guys have any questions for Teresa, feel free to ask. In the presence of greatness, they are asking them if there are any question to ask you. Yes. Feel free. Five minutes, no question. I'll go home. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have a question. Oh, yes, the brother there has a question. Yeah. What is your secret to such a healthy, long, and happy life? Asking you what's the secret of your happy, healthy, and long life? I was born in a ha ha factory. <laughs> <laughs> See my camera is shaking. <laughs> where's the where's the factory? Asking you where the brother be next to him is asking where is the factory? The factory is uh, 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 everywhere. Mm -hmm. The branches everywhere. If you knock on the door, they're open, and you are invited to come in. And then you don't stop ha ha in. Yes. <laughs> well, you have the same name as Mother Teresa. So how you compare yourself with Mother Teresa? Brother there is saying you have, he noticed that you have the same name as Mother Teresa. How do you compare you with her? You... I happen not to have met the great lady. So I don't know how to compare. I'm, I, she is Heavenly she, I am down to earth. <laughs> <laughs> Not true, she have met her. They came, she came to Singapore to met her. You have met Mother Teresa. She came to Singapore, I wasn't here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she has met her. Teresa uh, started the uh, home for the aged sick. A uh, long, long time ago, made it into a very big thing. Gave her family land over to it. And correct me if I'm wrong. And uh, af after seeing how successful it is, the government came in and took over. And then asked her to move out because she was past 75, was it? 85. 85. And so she was not quote unquote competent enough to run it. And I don't think so. And that's, that's not true. And so on and so forth. So what they did for compensation, this place is in uh, Haugang. Haugang. And so they built this huge facility around her and that little hut down there, like a little U shape in the middle of the U, and that's where they live. So they've given that uh, to them to stay in, and so on and so forth. So they're involved in a lot of charity work, um, and charity not meaning like giving money so much. They go out to Cambodia to help build homes for people who are homeless, uh, give medicine and food. Uh, here in Singapore, and they, if you can believe it or not, this is Singapore. 
There are people living in those old uh, HDB flats where the corridor is in the center of the building, and then you've got single uh, rooms on either side. Room. There, are, there are people who are there, and they were telling a story the last time about a, an older woman, about yeah. ninety something, is it, or one hundred and six? One hundred and six, who fell down and couldn't get up, and no family members and nothing, and she was there lying in her own. Uh, she can tell the story. Let her tell the story. Can you share the story of this elderly lady whom you were one day visiting and then you saw that the room was dark and a little ajar, no lights on, yeah. and you knock, knock, no answer. So you share the story of the old lady who fell off the bed. Yes. I, I visit uh, some friends along the corridor, each corridor, each, each door. One family, one old person. So one door, I was visiting other people, and they, I passed by the door, they, little bit open, no light. And I thought, I didn't personally in, with light on, all the door is locked, no what it is, half open door in that, so I put the door open, turn the light on, sealed on the floor, and she was, she was lying on the floor, covered with dirt. So I say, oh, um, why on the floor? She said, I fell down three days ago, mm -hmm. and I couldn't get out. So I cleaned her up, cleaned the place, and and then I went downstairs to, I say, I go downstairs and buy you some porridge. She said, yes. So I went downstairs, I called the ambulance because it well, felt very hot. So the nurse came, the ambulance, and say, ah, Paul, we take you to the hospital. She said, we don't want to go. People go there to die. So I say, ah, Paul, well, the Otero is decorated beautiful. We go and see the light. She said, yes. <laughs> so by the time she go into the, the car, she was very sleepy. So we took her to the hospital without her knowing. Uh, we say, we're going to see the light. So we went to the hospital to see the light. <laughs> <laughs> so then we put it to bed and she held my hand. She said, You cannot go. I said, Look, you had your porridge. I didn't have my. I go have my porridge. You sure you come back? I said, Yes. I promise I'll come back. So she set her down. She was very tired. She had a meal. So she went to sleep right away. And she said, You go and have your porridge. Come back. I said, Sure, I promise. Solemnly, I'll come back. So I went home. The next morning, visiting time is 9 o'clock. Papa said I already went. And there was somebody else on the same bed I left her. I said, no, she was stolen, my friend. They said, yeah, she gone over. She died at 2 o'clock. So I said, very good. At least all the time that she was dirty and unclean, lying on the floor and didn't have meal. At least she was clean. She died. After eating a meal, and then there were people surrounding, caring for her when she left. So I said, that's a blessing she gave me. To be in the place where she cried for, she had her meal and clean. So I said, it was your blessing to me that she died clean and had a nice meal, although I didn't have my meal <laughs> anywhere. So they were. And then they, uh, and on the nurse's table, she passed away at 2 o'clock. Soon after I left her, she went to sleep. So I said it was the last person to me to die among caring nurses and clean. It was the person to me. And I asked her before we went, I said, how old are you? She said, I'm 106. I told her my was wondering. Nobody lived that long especially when she's unhappy. And so we went to get her IC to go to the hospital to go for, for a joyride. And, and sure enough, she was only in sick. So they was last person was to die clean, surrounded by nurses. Very happy, she died happy. And I held her hand. And there was her last person holding my hand. 